Hey, it's John from Smart Edition Academy. And in this video, we are going to go over each and every topic that you're going to see on the HESI A2 exam for the math subject area. Uh, so I've consulted with our editorial team who develops all the Smart Edition online courses and apps and books and have every topic that you're gonna to need to know. I've also scoured YouTube for every HESI A2 video for different uh, test takers, kind of anecdotal tips and tricks and things that they've seen on the test and did all that so that you don't have to watch all those videos. You can just watch this one video. So before I get into it all, uh, make sure you check out the links below. There is a link to a free practice test. That is super important so that you guys understand where you're at so far in your studying and you can help identify your strengths and weaknesses. Click that link below. There's also a link to a Facebook group. We have an awesome Facebook group with like-minded people like yourself who are working through the same types of questions uh, and are all kind of going through the same experience. So everybody there is, is there to help each other out. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We, we are posting a lot of HESI videos. Click the bell icon so that you get notifications of all those videos. If you need more help, if you need more resources, Smart Edition Academy has several options for you. We have the HESI Tutor Online Course. Uh, that's got like 100 videos in it, uh, practice tests, flashcards, about 53 lesson modules for each and every topic that's going to be on the test. Uh, so that's the online course. There is a practice test pack. If you just want more practice tests, we offer that. Um, and then both of those are available on the Smart Edition Academy app, which is in the App Store for both Apple and Android. So check that out. And then we also have our study guidebook that you can get on our website or on Amazon. So check those things out. Let's go ahead and get right into it and talk about these topics that are going to be on the HESI A2 exam. For this subject area of the test, you're gonna have 50 math questions in 50 minutes. So it's not a lot of time. Uh, you need to move through it pretty quickly. So there's gonna be a few tips and tricks in here that are gonna help you do just that. The first tip that I would have for you is that you need to be prepared because there are different versions of the HESI A2 exam. So just because your friend got a, a temperature conversion doesn't doesn't mean that you will get a temperature conversion, for example. And there's lots of other examples like that where people say they saw something on the test, but it wasn't on someone else's exam. So you really need to be prepared for everything that we're about to go over because you will likely see some of it um, and you just don't know what you're going to get on test day. For the math section of the test, you will have a calculator. Most of the time they provide it to you on the screen. Some schools do actually like give you a calculator um, when you go to sit for the test, but you don't need to bring your own. When we talk about these topics, the three biggest ones that you need to be concerned about, these are like the three big elephants on the test, are fractions, ratios and proportions, and word problems. This is gonna make up the majority of the test. If there's 50 questions, you're probably gonna get 30 plus questions on just these three topics. So make sure you are familiar with fractions, ratios and proportions, and word problems. Let's go ahead and get right into it. You know, you need to know your basic addition and subtraction, so we're not gonna go over much of that. That's pretty self-explanatory. But in addition to that, you need to know basic multiplication and division. And that is, you know, something we all should know, but be careful because signed multiplication and division can get a little tricky. It often trips me up. So make sure you at least have a pretty solid foundation on that signed multiplication and division. Uh, you will need to know your order of operations. So that's your PEMDAS, your please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, these will be a lot of the questions that you'll see on the test. And so this is parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, addition, subtraction. Make sure you're familiar with that. Decimals and fractions. This is definitely going to be something you're going to see on the test. So you need to be familiar with things like changing decimals to fractions or converting among fractions, decimals, and percentages. And one tip I can give you is you have that calculator. So uh, there will be a lot of fractions. So uh, you can use that calculator to divide a fraction and get the decimal. So on the calculator, you might see a problem that's something like 3 eighths plus 4 ninths. So you can use the calculator to just divide 3 divided by 8, get that decimal, um, and then do the same and divide 4 by 9, get that decimal, um, and then you can add them together. So it's a great way to um, kind of be quick with the fractions if you're not as good with them, or even if you are good with them and you want to check your math, this is a really good way to do that. You know, be able to do other things with fractions like order least to greatest fractions, divide those fractions into decimals. So you guys get the idea there. There's going to be addition and subtraction of fractions. So subtracting and adding a fraction from a fraction, adding fractions with like denominators, 
and subtracting fractions without like denominators. So those are things you'll see when it comes to fractions on the test. You're also going to see multiplication and division of fractions. It gets a little more tricky uh, when it gets to this stuff, but make sure that you know and are familiar with multiplying a fraction by a fraction, multiplying a fraction by a whole or a mixed number. You need to be comfortable with those mixed numbers, dividing a fraction by a fraction, and dividing a fraction by a whole or mixed number. We can also talk about a big part of the test, which is the ratios, proportions, and percentages. So you need to know proportions and you need to know how to solve for X. So you need to know how to set those problems up in such a way that you are solving for X and then be able to work through that problem. No rates of change with things like an increase in speed or miles per hour. You might get some kind of word problems that might have some things like that in there. There's quite a bit of algebra on the test, right? So we're going to look at some things like equations with one variable. Um, you'll have those one-step linear equations, two-step equations, multi-step linear equations, and, and just solving for linear equations. Equations. A big part of the test, and you will see questions for this, is solving real-world mathematical problems. And so what you need to be able to do on those real-world problems is take out the numbers in the word problem and be able to turn that into equation, something you can solve for. Just practice that a lot and practice those word problems, being able to read the one or two or three sentences and then quickly be able to uh, turn that into a, an equation that you can solve for. We can talk about standards of measure. This is something that you are definitely going to see, right? This is going to be kind of some of those conversion questions. You'll see probably eight to nine questions out of the 50 questions on conversions. And those include things like temperature, Fahrenheit to calculus and vice versa. Know that formula, military, time, length, weight, mass, volume. And one tip that you can do is you, uh, many times they will give you scratch paper or a pencil that you can use on the test. And a lot of people will go in and right off the bat, they will start to uh, jot down, you know, what they've learned, you know, that that conversion formula for Fahrenheit to Celsius or just a few of the basic ones that you know off the top of your head so that when you do get that question, you can just look on your piece of paper and be able to kind of quickly be able to do the math using that formula. So the conversions is you need to know this for nursing school. OK, these are things that you will absolutely see, not only in nursing school, but when you're actually a nurse, whatever type of nurse you're trying to be, you are going to need to know the metric system. You're going to need to know volume and weight conversions versions, things like pints, quarts, ounces, milligrams, centigrams, kilograms, tons, etc. You need to know all this for nursing school. So do yourself a favor and learn this stuff now because it is going to make those courses you're going to take. And even when you get into the field, it's going to make all those things easier. So now's a good time to actually learn that stuff and definitely know the, uh, the standard and metric system and those conversions and then those time conversions uh, to military time. There is also Roman numerals on the test. Uh, so know your Roman numerals. One good thing you can do is kind of just uh, make some flashcards, right? So have one and then the Roman numeral on the back and go all the way to 100. And once you kind of start getting those numbers more memorized, it's going to go a lot quicker. But flashcards is definitely one of the easiest ways to learn Roman numerals. If you're not that great at them yet, you will be after doing something like that. So that is everything that's gonna be on the math. You know, you've got those three main topics that are gonna be kind of those big elephants that you really need to spend the most time on. That is the fractions, ratios, and proportions, and word problems. After you've mastered those for a little bit, you can move on to some of the other stuff, but make sure you know those the most are the best. That's where you're gonna see most of the questions. And again, use the free practice test below or whatever resources you're using. Make sure you're doing a lot of practice tests and really identifying, you know, not just that you need help in math, but specifically which areas do you need help in math? And our free practice test helps you do that. And of course the online course and the practice test packs and, and the study guidebook help you do that as well. So check all that stuff out. All the links are below and make sure you subscribe because we've got videos for all the other subject areas. And we want you to check those out so that we can help you guys out, prepare for and pass the HESI A2 exam. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.